Joining us for our weekly legal line is legal analyst Jeff Hosford from Hosford Law Firm to talk more about Crime Stoppers and organizations like that and why they're important. Jeff, good to have you here with us. Thank you for having me. We just heard there from the sheriff of Clay County talking about the importance of the of having support from the community in Columbus, the city of Columbus. You know, recently instituted its tip line to help generate uh, more tips to solve crimes. These are important for the community, aren't they? Yes, ma'am. Obviously, there's always some some people that don't want to give their name and they don't want to get involved in things. But this gives those people a way to to give the information to police that might help solve a crime and might let a family member or a friend of yours find that, that peace that they have to come to when it comes to crimes. And one thing that people often overlooked about Crime Stoppers and uh, even with the Columbus, New Columbus tip line, now the tips have to lead to an arrest and a conviction in most cases, not just an arrest. That is correct. Um, obviously, you know, if you just give them one bit of information and, and it doesn't lead to anything, they're not going to reward you. Um, if that information actually leads to the arrest and conviction of an individual, then they will reward you. Um, you never know what that little bit of information can be. Say you see a car in the area, that say you see a license plate number that you remember, and you call the police and you give them that information, it may actually lead them to find the individual that did, did the wrong to somebody else, and it may help solve the crime, and it could get you some money in your pocket. And at the end of the day, you did the right thing, and, and you actually got paid to do it. Um, there's no downside for you. There's no fear of reprisal or anything like that because you're not an actual given. You're not giving your name as a witness, and all you are is providing a little bit of information or whatever information you have to the police or whatever group of people that can help solve the crime. Well, hopefully, Crime Stoppers and orga other organizations will cut down that so-called uh, street code of snitching and uh, help law enforcement get these cases solved. Obviously, if you want to clean up your neighborhood or you want to clean up your area, you got to take a part in doing that, and you got to take a part in being involved in your community, and you got to take that action to move forward and help each other and help your neighborhood become a better place for everyone. Whether that's through Crime Stoppers or actual talking to the police, that's the best interest of your community and the citizens that you live with. Because at the end of the day, you want your children to grow up in a safe area or a dangerous area. And that's what it's about. All right, Jeff, we always appreciate your perspective. We'll see you back here next week. Thank you. Uh, partnership.